Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Earning my keep, Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Catch you another time, then. Howdy. Pancho, one of them strip families, got killed right in his own casino. You know he pissed off the wrong guy. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare, so watch your ass around me. You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see, and done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead-eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead-Eye Ricky. That's my name. Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that! But I didn't panic. Because... Because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Hell yeah, it's quite a story, but I'm quite a man. So stories like that follow me everywhere. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. 
I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Then I guess this dumb fucker's armor must have been D-Series or something. All I know is he died up real dead when I killed him, okay? Well, I grew up near Dayglo out west, so yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. That's where I grew up. Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Oh, you've been to Vault 2-2, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got the suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die! Damn good thing you came along. Now that Ricky skedaddled yours is the only pit boy we got. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us.